A, B, C, and D are points on a line with D the midpoint of B, C. So let's draw something here. So we got B and C for sure. B and C. We know those go here and D be the, being the midpoint of those two. Now you might think that A needs to be um, say to the left of B, but we don't know that for sure. Uh, so let's get some more information. The lengths of AB, segment AB, segment AC, and segment BC are 11, 3, and 14 respectively. That just means in the order that they give it to us. So AB is 11, AC is 3, and BC is 14. So this 14 I can go ahead and put on there. Okay. Now, since AC is equal to 3, the length or the distance between those two points, that means it must be really close to C. It's not going to be the left of B. That doesn't make sense. So it's going to be 1 and 2 of 2 places. Here, let me switch colors real quick. Right. How about green? Okay. It could be here, or it could be in here. Whoops. One of these two places. Okay, so let's see which one of these might make sense. So AC is 3. I'm going to put a 3 here and I'll put a 3 here. Okay. Now, it says that from A to B, it's equal to 11. So if this piece right here is 14 and we keep going out, and this is supposed to be 3 more, that's got to be 17. So from B to A, that doesn't work. So it cannot be here, and it must be on the inside to the left of A. All right. So now, finally, um, let's see, what is AD? To get AD, we know that each one of these pieces is 7, because that midpoint cuts that segment in half. This one's also 7. So if the whole length from D to C is 7, and I've just taken up 3 of it, what I have left is 7 minus 3 is 4. So the length of AD is equal to 4.